This is a simulation of a fragmentation warhead on a missile exploding near a plane. The idea is that we then look at where the fragmentation goes uh, based on the speed of the missile, the speed of the plane, and the uh, uh, speed of uh, the fragmentation. Uh, the dotted line here indicates the path of the missile. We can move that by grabbing this handle here and rotating it around so we can show different trajectories of the missile and this point here indicates where the missile exploded relative to the plane and of course we can move that around to show different scenarios uh, with the missile coming from one direction or another direction. Other things we can modify are the speed of the missile which is set to 1000 meters per second by default we can move it up to 1500 uh, the fragmentation speed, which we can modify. As you see, when we modify these speeds, it modifies the pattern of uh, fragmentation uh, from the from the warhead. Now, the determination of this fragmentation pattern is done by adding together the velocity of the missile and the velocity of the fragmentation and then subtracting the speed of the plane because we need to get the motion relative to the plane so we can see where the bits of uh, shrapnel would impact the plane and where they would possibly exit the plane. Uh, we can also adjust the speed of the plane, but I've set it to 252 meters per second, which is 490 knots, which is the last recorded speed of flight MH17. Uh, I'm also using a 777 as the background graphic here, so you can see where it might impact things like the engines and the tail. You'll notice that uh, even though the primary damage is round here in the front of the plane, we do, we, even with this simple setup, get quite a bit of damage in the wing and a bit on the tail as well. And it doesn't take very much to uh, uh, modify the spread of fragmentation so that the entire plane is covered. Uh, or if we rotate the angle around, we can get uh, different results and uh, moving the uh, the point of impact. And if we put it on the other side, we can, uh, we can see similar different things. Uh, the unknowns here are basically what is the fragmentation speed of the warhead. And you can see quite a bit of difference with different speeds. Uh, what was the speed of the missile? Was it uh, 1000 meters per second closing speed or was it perhaps just 750 meters per second uh, with a relative speed of 1000? And was the spread actually 56 degrees as some people have suggested or was it a, a higher value or a lower value? Uh, but this allows you to very quickly try out different numbers and see what the resultant damage pattern might be. Now one thing to remember is that this is just two-dimensional. The real uh, explosive explosion pattern is a kind of a two-dimensional uh, expanding donut which will be uh, essentially like a cone shape. Uh, but this will give you a good idea around this region uh, because it's essentially just a slice through that donut which you will see here and you know, in other places too. The uh, link to this should be in the description of the video.